Good morning. What's up, fam? This is your boy, Ana Marcus, IFBB Pro. So, 10 days out, this is it. So, this is where we start our peak week. I uh, woke up this morning 186 pounds, feeling pretty good. Actually had a medium carb day yesterday, and uh, today carbs are going to be a little bit lower, really, for the next five days. And then they're going to get very, very low, um, and then almost to zero heading into the competition before we start to load back up. So I'll keep you posted in terms of the protocol over the next 10 days, but here we go. This is where things get really, really tight and we just really have to pay attention to detail every single day just to see where we are and adjust. That's the important thing, adjusting based on what you're seeing. You just can't follow a program. You need to adjust every day based on how things are going. So um, it takes a bit of a while to get the feel but right now we're right on track at 186. Like I said, competition, um, we're looking to hit the stage around 180, 183. Um, so that's really not that far off. So, you know, we'll be watching it every day, adjusting every day. As you can see, pretty good definition there. Main thing is just getting it back. Um, let you guys see my back a little bit later. That's why I tend to hold a little bit more water. So once we get that water out the way, get that extra fat, off the lower back, then that's when I know I'm ready. All right, guys, I'll holler back at you in a few. Peace. Okay, so just want to give you guys a quick peek of uh, my meal prep for today. Um, starting out with my breakfast. Breakfast I usually do every day, sometimes lunch. I actually do a week before or every three days. So this is cream of wheat. That's going to be my breakfast. My carbs for the morning. That's about one cup. And this is 10 egg whites, actually nine egg whites and one whole eggs. Sometimes I'll do just 10 egg whites. Um, other days I'll do one whole egg and um, nine egg whites. So healthy fat, just don't wanna go overboard. Healthy fat and yolk, so, but only do one when I do have whole eggs. And then this is chicken breast, cut up and seasoned like I like it and a half a cup of rice, uh, basmati rice. So, and I put a little bit of stevia on my rice because I like it sweet. So that's gonna be lunch number one. And then dinner or late lunch, however you wanna call it. This is asparagus and another six and a half ounces of chicken. So both of these six and a half ounces of chicken. And then total, I have about three protein shakes throughout the day. Um, the toffee nut crunch that I have has protein in it as well. So that's going to put me about 220, 27 grams of protein for today. Uh, carbs would be about 90 and fats about 25 grams for the day. Um, so the hard part is just sticking to exactly this. So that's what we're going to be looking to do for today. And it should come in even leaner tomorrow. Like I said, I woke up 186. So really right on track, feeling good, still feel pretty strong. Um, although I was really suffering last week, but after that high carb day, it really helped a lot. And uh, But no more high carb days for the rest of the prep. So here we go. All right, so just had that meal, had uh, six and a half ounces of chicken. Also had a half a cup of rice uh, about an hour ago. And then after that, wait about 30 minutes, then had a rice cake and uh, some nut butter toffee spread. Um, so should have had some pretty good energy for this workout. Getting ready to hit back. Uh, today is our second back workout. So we're doing with the lats. Um, and I'll show you guys some of the movements and also go over some of the uh, some of the video later on in a few. Peace.
your boy so just finished back trying to get through buys but uh it was a tough one today so 100 carbs yesterday 90 carbs today um it's fairly low so yesterday got a great pump today not so much 30 minutes the pump was pretty much gone but we pushed through it um got through all the exercises for back and lats really worked on width a lot um, a lot of contraction a lot of holding um as you'll see in the video and uh, really controlling on a negative um, and really still push as heavy as we can go. 
Um, after that, went into biceps. We had three bicep exercises that we wanted to do. Only got through the first one because there was just no more pump there. So if you're not getting a pump at all, that means there's no glycogen in the muscles and you're better off, there's no oxygen in the muscles for, the, for them to grow. So we're gonna come back tonight and finish biceps off um, towards the end of the evening. Um, but right now I'm gonna get some, uh, some food in me, protein, and uh, try to replenish from this back workout and uh, you know catch you guys a little bit later and hit uh, finish up the biceps. All right, peace. We did uh, four sets of just about everything, four sets, eight to 12 reps, um, except on a super set. Um, we actually did three sets of those, um, but everything else we did four sets. So, um, and then you can check out the form in the video before. All right, guys, so talk to you later, peace.